Oh, that's right. No message. <laughs> Welcome to Hungary, then. Weekend preview. Weather forecast. Oh, it looks like it's going to start wetting quali. And then it'll be a dry race. Van Derby Doos. Uh, we've got our team goal. We'll get that at the end of Hungary. So it's time to choose a new rival. Remember to select a driver that you consider your rival from the rivalry screen on the workstation. Performing well against your rival can earn you respect and better terms when it comes to our contract reviews. Shall we? What do you think? Shall we? Shall we? Maybe? No? Maybe? Come on. Maybe? Do you know what? Why not? I ain't afraid, no Vettel. Let's do it. So we got some uh, good R and D coming in for Singapore, and we got some coming for Belgium. I suppose that's something. We've took all new stuff for this race, so it just leads us to look at the points. And Kimi Raikkonen is your current points leader uh, from myself with a 17-point gap. Big gap then to Sebastian Vettel in third, who's got a gap to Verstappen, Hamilton and Ricardo in a fight for fourth. Uh, Nico Hulkenberg, Perez, Bottas, Magnussen, Sainz, Stroll, Ocon, Grosjean, Leclerc, Magnussen, Alonso, Van Dorn and the two Toro Rossos are still yet to score. But that'll change at this race because traditionally they go well at this circuit. Traditionally. Not to say they will in this one. I still can't believe we're going to fight Sebastian Vettel. I, I think we should go for it because, look at this, our car is just as good as the Ferraris. Soon. Maybe. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. We haven't had a regulation change your yet. Your quote-unquote value to a team is built from your overall respect... Talk about the value that of the team, team and your sportsmanship or showmanship alignment. During negotiations, the higher your perceived value is, the better the perks you'll be able to ask for in your contract. So uh, we're going to go practice, and uh, we'll see you then for the qualifying. We hope you're looking forward to today's qualifying in Hungary as much as Oh, that's right! I forgot. It's, it's raining for the first part of qualifying. With the weather as it is today, Anthony Max Davidson, didn't forget, did you, Max? have, to some extent, to throw the form book out of the window. Who do you see having the advantage on this slippery, unpredictable track surface? Traditionally, these are very Adrian Newey conditions. The Red Bull's habit of creating incredible downforce coupled with the high rake they like to run is perfect for the wet, and it's helped them close the power gap a number of times over recent years. I think Force India as well, always a bit of a dark horse in changeable conditions, and of course the McLarens have a fairly good chassis. Having said that, I don't want to make a firm prediction. More than performance, the deciding factor is going to be the timing. The level of wetness out on the track is going to constantly rise and fall, and anyone who can find that perfect window when it's at its driest will have a big advantage out there. Yeah, Jeff's not good at all. Right, we're going to go get a banker lap uh, straight away. Because... Uh, honestly, I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about this. I think we're not the only one that's going to get a banker lap. It all depends how long this rain lasts. If this let rain lasts all session, we, we could be in with a chance. But if this rain doesn't last, oh boy, are we in trouble. Because, uh, oh, hey. big tail slide, it's not even the start of the race, start of the session. I just hope, man. I'm hoping. You can see, though, we are fighting this wheel, man. We are absolutely... There's a, there's a big one. I know one thing. We're going to be flying through this turn four. Not today.
Where are we going, going? They went near any curves in turn five. I didn't even see if we were faster than Raikkonen. Are we faster than Raikkonen? Hello, how are you doing? Oh, come back car, come back car. That's all right. Hold that one together. And now into the last corner, come on. That could be about a second slower than Riken and we'll take that. Oh, if we can be half a second slow, we'll definitely take that. Let's see, will it dry up? Oh, it'll dry up for the end of the session. Okay, some quick lap times are now being posted. It's getting faster out there. I agree, it's getting faster. I'm, I'm waiting for the first person to jump on ultras. And then I'm following them. Mm. Although they say that's in 10 minutes and the session's 10 minutes to go. So, oh dear. It's a, it's a gamble, man. It's a gamble. <laughs> We're out to the minute, so we got to do better. Right, let's go. Let's go do this. We'll switch to recommended compound. Did the track dry up then? Did the track dry up? It did! Now we'll see some lap times uh, fall. And we got the DRS as well, so let's do this! Look at that, already we're a second faster. Rain man! They will have come to this corner, just want to lift slightly, or maybe go dab on the brakes, or big slide. And a big slide through five as well, but oh, we'll hold on to that, that's good. You may notice I'm attacking some of these curves, that's because we've got um, the uh, lowest uh, number on the suspension. We're just constantly gaining and gaining and gaining. Come on, round the last corner, round the last corner. We might get one more lap in here. Where are we? P3. I don't think we need to. I think we're safe. Safe, man! Woohoo! I will say something though, where's the pace of these Saubers come from? So far, our fastest lap is a 1 minute 17. Where are we? 
how did we end up down there? More to the point, how did Lewis Hamilton end up down there? Are you kidding me? We only just got through? I thought we nailed that. Maybe the pace isn't there this weekend or something, I don't know. Oh well. Uh, Q2. I will admit though that Hungary is one of those really, really difficult circuits to set up for. And and here's the reason. You've got to set it up. Let's see if we can pull up the track map here. There we go. You've got to set it up for basically everything after turn four. Which means you leave yourself... If you need to find some more time, remember that corner exit is more important than corner entry. Slow in, fast out, smooth on the power. Which leaves you very exposed on that big long straight. So that's what, that's what you're setting up for basically. Save all the battery we can because I know we were uh, overcharging on. On uh, some. Uh, sectors, but here we go. Now, we've got to be faster than. I would say we've got to be faster than Ocon, definitely. We need to sort ourselves out in the first corner. But that is uh, that is a big thing, man. You you set yourself up around this circuit for certain parts. Oh no no no! Aggressive goes around. Oh dear. Right, back to the garage. Uh, whoops. Car repairs have set us back a little. So, yeah, you're basically setting your car up for one section of this track. You can't set it up for the other section of this track, which kind of does suck, if we're being honest. So now... Now, I'm um, basically, I'm um, um, basically, you know, trying to get a lap in now. There we go. Let's try that again. As uh, Verstappen OP'd it, Verstappen has OP'd. We all know Verstappen's good, but he's not that good. Slower than the Stappen. It, it's basically all or nothing on this lap. So it puts us fifth. Let's see if we can go again. Try and get a little bit more out of it. Yeah, 
it's not going to work, is it? I've got to absolutely really muller this corner. Which I did, to be fair. There's, there's per what, Perez? Oh, bloody hell, Perez. What a dip. You know what? Well, if we go out now, it's Perez's fault. There you go. There you go. That, that, that is unbelievably out of order. That Perez slows down literally in the middle of a corner. In the middle of a straight. And then gives us no chance to even get past it. It's ridiculous. Oh well. Suppose Vettel's got to be perfect once, hasn't he? Oh well, back to the shop. Fucking idiot, man. Oh well, we should get some resource points. Fresh stuff. Can we buy an upgrade? I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. Why are you calling that a successful qualifying? Oh, because I've got qualify 13th. All right, then. That's fair enough. We'll, uh, we'll let you have that. Let me have a look here. Can I buy something? What can I buy for Singapore? Well, I can't buy that. I could buy a suspension upgrade. It'd be ready for Singapore. Hell yeah! I'll buy a suspension upgrade. I'll buy suspension upgrades, no problem. Look at all that, man. Look at that, we got come from Singapore. Woohoo! Fresh stuff! Yeah, that's all good. I wonder what they're going to stick us on then. They're going to stick us on something good. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh well. Let's race. It's always wonderful to come back to the lively Hungaro ring. A popular destination this, nice and close to the beautiful city of Budapest, with some exciting racing to boot. Who can forget Michael Schumacher pushing his old teammate oh, Rubens sure. Barrichello up towards the pit wall in 2010. All those great races of 2014 and 2015 as well. We're northeast of Budapest for the race today at the 2.7 mile the Hungaro Bobby, Ring actually circuit. Want to talk to me. 14 corners here, 8 to the right and 6 to the left. On a track where downforce is king and passing is notoriously difficult. ready to go then and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today he oh wow gonna go somewhere to beat Vettel this weekend he's OP completes the front row looking down the rest of the grid we have Verstappen Bottas Daniel Ricciardo and Hulkenberg Alonso Perez Ericsson and Lance Stroll Poole Sainz Charles Leclerc and Ocon Grosjean Van Dorn Brendan Hartley and Pierre Gasly Magnussen and wow, Lewis, Lewis Hamilton, Hamilton all the way from the back the of the field, man. And now it's time to head down to the track. Okay, be wary of the cars ahead breaking suddenly into one. We could ruin our race if we hit them. Good luck. Yeah, we'll try not to. So they're going to stick us on the ultras to start with. And then we got a long, long stint on the softs, man. Long stint on the softs. You can't get in longer if you tried. So, uh, 
Yeah. We're gonna get out there. We we gotta do this. Man. We we gotta do something. So let's uh, let's get it. Come on in. There we go. Coming across. Coming across. Excuse you. Do you love my ass? Tell me how my ass tastes. How you doing there, Danny? Thank you. What a start that was. OP to start. Oh, oh, hello. Around the outside of Magnus. The Stappen, why not? That would be really OP. Oh, yes, excuse you. Young Maxwell. Hell yeah, I'll take that start. Let's see if we can do Max into the breaking zone. Look at that! Oh yeah! Hell yeah! That's how you do it, Max! That's how you do it in my neighborhood! What are you going to say to that one, Maxwell? Another lot! <laughs> Sucker! Oh, you want to you want to come down into the first corner? I feel be so I feel I guess. Be my guest. I'll just hang you out to dry out there. We we went through this last year with Kimi Raikkonen. So uh, by all means, if you want to uh, embarrass yourself out there, mate, go ahead. Uh, not too far in front of me. Maybe I can beat Battle this weekend. Maybe here really able to attack some of these corners. Oh, got right up to the back of Bottas. If I follow him, I'll get him in the same place I got Max. Well, that's asking a lot. <laughs> well, we dropped Max. That's good. And hey, maybe we've got a car worthy of uh, worthy of the podium this weekend. Come on then, let's do this. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the softs. Now I do get this uh, this tip off my brother, who's uh, driving a Force India very well in his career over on the Xbox. The uh, inferior console, I should say. Whoa! Excuse you. Sorry about that. But um, apparently, overtake is faster than hot lap. Don't know if anyone wishes to uh, confirm that or deny that. Mind you, he is OP on uh, his game. That's because, well, he's got the force in here. Now, Valtteri, you're not going to do a bonehead move like Kimmy did. Uh... Oh, yeah. Come on, then. Come on, then, Valtteri. What you got? What you got? You got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Scrub. Why are you warning me for a collision with Bottas? Did we enter uh, DRS territory? I think we did. Yeah. Here we go. The gap to the leader is 3.8 seconds. Wow, Kimmy is OP. He's checked out. Kimmy uh, checked out big time. So, yeah. Um, apparently, overtake is uh, faster than uh, hot lap. Don't, uh, don't ask me why, it just is. We're not going to be able to run in this engine mode much longer. We're about a lap over target. Drop down to mix too soon. Yeah, 
tell you what, we're pretty close to Vettel here. I know we were due in next lap, but um, do you think we could do the over undercut on Vettel? Do you think it'd be worth doing the undercut on Vettel? Let's, let's see, if he comes in, I won't, I'll stay out, but if I, he doesn't, I'll, uh, I'll go in, I'll go for the undercut, let's see what he does. Oh, he's saying it's right. Lap of my life now. We're going to box this lap, push hard on the in lap. Lap of my life now. Lance is in the pits. Come on. I think we got the beat of the Valtteri this weekend. It's all a case of if we got the beat of the uh, of a Ferrari because Raikkonen has uh, OP'd. Oh, that's why. Yeah, yeah, quite rightly. You give me a track limits warning. Yeah, me. Reduce the ERS deployment, please. We need to charge the battery. Okay. Pit now. Pit now. You heard him. Pit now. I'm hoping we come out uh, round about where Sebastian is. down that's good go 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 good stop team okay stay clear of the white line on the exit we'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track Okay, so Vettel, uh, Vettel did me there, which we expected. We expected that, but now we can, uh, we can really push. Oh, big slide through turn four. Wow, that was a, that was a slide and a half. Yeah, Raikkonen's coming up to, uh, ooh, ooh, what, what the hell happened there? The back end all of a sudden decided, nope. <laughs> Tell you what, if these cars in front of Raikkonen don't pit, we got a chance here. We got a chance. It's all about, uh, these cars are in fact Lonzo's not pitted so uh, good on Frankie let's get after him gap to car in front is 2.7 seconds we just done bot ass on the uh, undercut so that was easy Bit wide in the, the hairpin there. Oh, right, could have done uh, a long go. <laughs> Scrub. If you heard that growling just then, that was my stomach. Excuse me. We're getting away here with using... Ooh, good lord, that was a big slide. We're getting away with using the uh, minimum amount of ERS.
Come on then. The car behind has come in. They're now on the soft tyre. Softs on the car behind. Yeah, but we're dropping him because he's a scrub. We're dropping him because he's the ultimate scrub. But we're catching Vettel, which is good. Kick it down to medium. Yeah, Raikkonen's got to follow that Renault. And uh, Vettel's got to follow this uh, Stoffel. It's Stoffel! It's Stoffel Van Dorn, man! No problem, Vettel's going to have DRS down the main straight. It's Stoffel, don't go in. Tell you what, how, how do you fancy a, a freeway down into the first corner? Our gap to first place is 3.9 seconds. How do you fancy it? Oh, we thought about it. We thought about it. That was uh, past Van Dorn. We haven't yet. Oh, stop it. What are you doing? Wake your ass up, man. I've got to get past him before the chicane. I really have to get past him before that chicane. Oh, oh excuse you, Stoffel. Battery charge is low. If we turn down the ERS deployment, we can harvest more energy. I, I'm so sorry, but I think that was a, a case of excuse you, Stoffel, coming through. Battery charge is low. Come on, then, we've got Vettel now, DRS. Raikkonen's OP in. Uh... We're leading our teammate by 16.6 .6 seconds. Like an Enzo P, one of the Renaults. How you doing here, Sebastian? Let's have ourselves a nice, uh, a nice clean race, shall we? Oh, big slide. Who is this Renault at the front here? I'll be honest, these Renaults are pretty good. Oh, oh dear me, almost into the back of Sebastian. I don't think we're going to get him here. Turn 10 being our favourite of the minute, but uh, oh, we're going to be close. Virtual safety car, virtual safety car. Reduce speed immediately and keep a positive delta. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Some information on Hartley. They are out of the race. VSC ending, we're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. Okay, clear. Oh, we went very wide. That'll be a track limit violation, surely. Now we got caught napping by the VSC. Yellow flag. Is this for uh, is this for Hartley? 
Yeah, here's Hartley. Yellow flag in completely the wrong place. He's getting close to that Renault. I tell you what, he might have DRS. I might watch him uh, go sailing past that Renault. Which uh, has a good amount of chunky behind it. Oh no, we're going to get DRS too. Come on then. Turn you heifer. The gap behind us is 4.0 seconds. Yeah, she don't want to turn now. <laughs> she really don't want to turn now. We pretty much burned off our excess fuel. We'll be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine down. Oh, it's Carlos Sainz in the Renault. Has he not pitted yet or something? Because he's having a strong... Oh, God. He uh, did track limits there. I think uh, that might be the end of our challenge. But uh, we're, we're going to keep going. I don't think uh, Sainz has pitted yet. Okay, gap to leader, 5.0 seconds. Oh, look at, look at, uh, look at Vettel put the big boy pants on. Go on, Carlos, give it him back. Give it him back. He don't like that very much. I think we're taking. Oh, come on. Oh, what the hell was that? What okay, you have that? wing damage. This will be a major performance impact unless you box for a new one. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Oh my god, what was he thinking? Yeah, now... Got that, confirmed. Got the pit for a new wing. Where are we going to come out? Oh, back of the pack. We're going to have to put an ultra set, uh, see if we can put an ultra soft set on. It'll be a huge ultra soft set, but man, it'll do. I cannot believe he did that, man. That was out of order, Sebastian. Complete, go now. Oh. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. And we're basically back of the pack. The only way Sebastian Vettel could beat us this weekend. There's four laps of fuel remaining. I don't care there's four laps of fuel left. I'm I'm pretty annoyed. Now. We all know what happens when I get pretty annoyed. Ridiculous that. He's ruined uh, a lot of people's races there as Sebastian.
Oh well, let's see what kind of finish we can get on these tyres then. Might be able to get the objective position 13th, but uh, about apart from that. Reduce the ERS deployment, please. We need to charge the battery. I'll reduce it, don't worry. I'm, I'm reducing it. Oh, look at that around the outside of Stoffel, why not? And then Stoffel skews you! Nice work, that brings you up a place. Definitely. Oh, we might get Ericsson. Oh, that was close. Because look, even Science is here, and Science is pretty miffed. Sebastian Vettel basically ruined two lap races there. Myself and Science. We just made two cracking passes. Our oh, science did the same as I did, he went on the ultras. has uh, held up signs there. Good move into the chicane. You gonna help you help your boy out, Lance? Help your boy? We have two laps of fuel remaining. You gonna help your man out, Lance? Thank you. Oh, well, big slide. I don't know where we were going, but it weren't uh, it weren't into the corner. That was for sure. Now we can get up to eleven. It's gonna be all about if we can uh, get that. Uh, oh, there's, there's a crossover move. I thought Alonso would go do the crossover on uh, on Ricardo then, but he's not. I think it's going to be 11th. Good job we did our hard work. Uh... At um, Germany. As we... Oh, excuse you, Alonso! I need someone in front of us to uh, bite it. To get a point. And even then, we're fighting Danny Rick for it. Come on, then. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Gap to teammate behind is 2.5 seconds. It's all about if we can uh, overtake Danny Rick now. Bit of personal pride. Be our worst result of the season as well if we do. Also our first non-scoring point uh, finish of the year as well. Kimi Raikkonen wins, so he's going to really extend his championship lead. Yeah, it looks like it'll be a 12th for us. 
which is, I, I think, rather unlucky there. We were, we were a victim of somebody else. Damn it! Sorry about that. I guess they can't all go to plan. Bring her in. We'll go over what happened in the debrief. Oh, damn it. So, another excellent win from Ferrari. So, Ant, how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car to maximize the strategy and to stay out of trouble. So here they come now out onto the podium. Wherever you go, anywhere in the world, the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands and they're out in force again today. It's Ferrari on the top step once more. Oh dear. I think we could have had a podium then if Vettel didn't do his what his dickhead move on Carlos. I'm not gonna blame Carlos for that. That's all uh that was all Vettel's fault. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. It's a good result for Kimi Raikkonen, who extends his advantage at the top of the championship. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Let's give it to Kevin Magnussen. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. Ferrari extend their lead at the top of the championship. After all that excitement, it's time for a lie down, I think. Thanks for joining us and goodbye until the next race. Oh, I want to see. Did he get punished for that? Incident. Let's have a look. Uh, collision with Van Dorn. No, he didn't even get punished. Wow. FIA Ferrari International Assistance. Jeez Louise. Oh, well. No doubt Emma's going to want to have a word with us. Let's go, uh, let's go back to the shop. Now I am pissed. Good day today. Tell us about it from your perspective. <laughs> How do you think your rival feels about today? Um, I'm I'm sure Lance feels the best man won today. It was more like dodgems than Formula uh, One today, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. Yeah, fairground with all them clowns. Great. Well, that's everything. And there was some I don't know, I don't know why uh, the Mercedes rep went down. They did nothing to the Mercedes. Oh, I had the fastest lap than Vettel. Screw you. Deserve everything you get. At least I got the race bonus. <laughs> Could have done with a bit more, man. Could have done with a lot, lot more than that. Commiserations on that result. It's been a tough weekend. Ah, uh, that was tough that weekend. I'll, uh, I'll grant you that. So it's contract negotiation time. Woohoo! It's time for us to renegotiate your contract. Okay. Here you can see the current deal. Once negotiations well, begin, the first thing the team I want, will make I want you an upgrade offer. speeds. You definitely. can accept if you like. I definitely want upgrade I speeds. I strongly suggest we push for better terms. I think we can. I think we can do without the pit stop efficiency, can't we? Let's see. Let's see if we go with level three. Let's see what happens here. 
We're Ooh, asking just a little bit here. too much. We need to make some compromises. Okay. Um, what about free upgrades of department and I can do without the pit stop efficiency? Are you alright with that? Yeah, you're fine with that. Okay, that proposal looks good. It seems all parties are happy with the deal. So it'll commence at the next At least I got the contract I wanted. So, but it still means that all that lots can be ready for Singapore. Let's see what we can do. Can we bring anything on the on the car? Obviously not. Gotta keep them all happy, man. Keep them happy. Yeah, definitely our worst result of the season. But that's fine. We're gonna go to Spa and we're gonna uh, we're gonna nail it. We're gonna give it them right back, and they're gonna sit there and take it. I suppose I could get a new one of them. But no, I think we're due a new gearbox soon, anyway, aren't we? We've received invitations to new historic events. Oh, we'll where did these invitation events come from? Before the end of this weekend. I didn't see where these invitation events came from. All right then, uh, we'll do one of the McLaren events. I don't know which one. Probably that one. That'd be fun actually. So uh, yeah, disappointing there. Oh, that was very disappointing. I'm not uh, not impressed with that. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, yeah, thank you uh, very much for watching. I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you want to uh, batter. Uh, Sebastian Vettel as much as I want to bat Sebastian Vettel um, because no doubt I really want to punch his lights out uh, so we shall see you then uh, for the next race in Spa so uh, take care everyone and we'll uh, we'll see you then